Thank you, Honorable. I'm almost said uh, Honorable Joseph. I think um, I can recall as a little boy growing up hearing yeah, the wonderful voice of Mr. Dennis Joseph and the likes of Jeff, Jeff Charles and others. It's, it's an honor to be here this morning and I've listened to you with several um, briefings and I think it's a wonderful refreshment um, after this monster hurricane Mario to have your voice in our living rooms in Dominica and overseas and on our vehicles. I'm also honored to welcome here this morning the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Justice, Immigration and National Security, the Commissioner of Police, um, the Registrar, Mr. Ozzy Walsh, and we have a number of colonels in our mix this, this morning. And I want in a special way um, to welcome the commanders of the various um, contingents from the original forces, namely Jamaica, Trinidad, and of course, just a few days ago, we had, we had um, the Bahamas um, contingent join us, a uh, strength of 44 additional men, and that brings the aggregate to 323 to complement and to support our effort in Dominica to maintain a sense of, on, of law and order in this wonderful country, Dominica, especially post Maria. We also have RSS, um, who have been, RSS, as I've said before, is a model of an organization that have been there for us in good times and in bad times. And I'm honored to have a friend who, have, who is the, now the commander of the RSS um, contingent in Dominica, the Deputy Commissioner of Police of Grenada. And it's, it's a tremendous individual, and it's nice to have you here in Dominica. Notwithstanding, of course, the devastation brought about by this monster hurricane, uh, Maria, our will remains strong, and our orientless effort to repair and to rebuild this wonderful country is evident in the response from us um, as a collective and extraordinary leadership demonstrated by our Prime Minister day after day. I think that's a sense of inspiration for us as a country rebounding and as we transition from relief to reconstruction. Um, our inspiration from our leaders will be even more important going forward. This morning we'll be talking about two issues here this morning and as you know that um, our independence celebration is a major um, hallmark in the development of the people as we celebrate notwithstanding Maria 38 years as an independent country. An important dimension of our celebration has always been or military parade. And as we heard from uh, Mr. Dennis Joseph, it will be somewhat abbreviated, but we will have the participation of our regional colleagues of the armed forces, of course. They all have consented, and I think that will be a, a demonstration of our unity as, as regional brothers and sisters. And um, the Commissioner of Police We'll speak to that, and I'm hope, hoping, hoping that um, um, Colonel Ogilvy will also say a few words as to the participation. And my good friend, uh, Mr. Um, um, Colonel Wicks of Trinidad, who I've been told might not go back to Trinidad. That's what I've been advised for whatever reasons. And um, don't laugh, but it's true. And also, um, Deputy Commissioner of Police of Grenada, Mr. Martin, will speak briefly as to the participation of the RSS um, armed forces in our military parade. I've been advised um, that we'll be having only the review order um, this year and not elaborate um, demonstrations and various aspects of our, of our parade that we have actually loved um, for the past many years. And then, as you know, that the cornerstone of any society, especially a uh, democratic society. Um, there's, there's a strength in, in, the, in the country is in this justice system. And therefore, it's imperative that uh, we have our courts at both levels, the high court and magistrate level, up and running. Of course, we would have suffered tremendous destruction to our office spaces, housing of various courts and our legal offices. But not, that, that notwithstanding, the Ministry of Justice has been able to actually, has risen to the, to the, to the challenges, and we have been able to put in place a schedule um, for both our magistrate court 
and our High Court. The Chief Magistrate is not here this morning. The Spears will speak um, to some of the um, plans we have put in place thus far to ensure that our courts are up and running. We also have the Registrar here with us this morning. He will speak about the plans that we have put in place to ensure that our High Court sits. And we have been able to make some um, alternate arrangement for the sitting of our High Court. And the Registrar will speak to that. And also, we have to ensure legally that our judges are properly housed. The Registrar will also speak to that very important aspect of this morning's briefing. I've said enough, I only to say, on behalf of our Prime Minister and the wonderful people of Dominica, I want again to express my gratitude to all the members of the regional armed forces. I think we should put our hands together for ourselves, for yourselves. Because um, post any serious um, hurricane or any natural disaster, um, security is very critical. And then the issue of search and rescue, and then communication. And once you're able to communicate and establish contact with the various parts of the country, it's easier for to ensure that relief supplies meet the most vulnerable. So we have been able to get our support from the regional forces, and um, some of them have said to me that Dominica is like the homes. I am seeing that the colonel is from Jamaica is smiling. Well, that is among ourselves, so don't get involved in that. So I, I call on um, the Commissioner of Police, firstly, and um, to address us here this morning. Thank you very much.